In today's video, I'm going to be camping in this tiny little bivvy tent. I can't stand up in it, you can't even sit in it, and there's no way at all I can get dressed in it. But this is going to be home for the night. We have got forecast for rain in the night, but hopefully that doesn't cause me too much trouble. I'm in the White Peak region of the Peak District today, and these rock formations are something else. It looks like an old seabed from hundreds of thousands of years ago. Fortunately, no dinosaurs, but I'm hoping that I don't get trampled on by the sheep in the night. It's about an hour until sunset, so let's crack on, get the rest of the gear set up. Got the new Thermo-S Neowear x Lite sleeping pad, and that paired up with the Rab Neutrino 600 sleeping bag. Should keep me toasty warm tonight. Couple of inflatable pillars. Home sweet home. My backpack's gonna probably have to stay outside. I have got something to cover it up though, so if the rain does come, it should stay nice and dry. Clouds don't look too bad, so fingers crossed we'll be all right. So temperature is gonna be dropping to around three degrees Celsius. So I haven't got very much to keep me sheltered from the, from the cold. I don't wanna be spending 12, 14 hours inside a bivvy. Let's get the thicker coat on. Bringing out the big guns. That's better. It's getting a little bit parky. It's not a very high hill this, but the views are awesome. I've got to thank Mark Jones for letting me in on this little gem of a place. Very different environment to the dark peak area of the Peak District. No, it's starting to lose light, so I'm going to get some steak on the go. If you want covered in sheep shit, this would make a nice little kitchen worktop. That one looks better. So while I get this jet boil set up, I'd quickly like to thank Squarespace, who sponsored the video today. So we've been using Squarespace for our website three or four years now, selling things like bobble hats, and I've also used it to promote the videos on the YouTube channel. So we chose Squarespace because we wanted to build the website ourselves and save a few pounds. They were really easy to do. All we had to do was choose one of their ready-made templates. And then we uploaded our own photos, added some text, just dragged things around a little bit. And I think it took about two hours before we had a website built. So someone like you or me with no experience can easily build a website. There's loads of different features, including e-commerce to set up a shop, there's analytics to check how many people's visited your website and where they're from. You can even make changes using the mobile app. It's been brilliant for us, so we have no problem recommending it. So if you want to have a go at building a website while you're waiting for your couscous to cook, then click the link in the description below or head over to squarespace.com forward slash Paul Messner. You'll get a totally free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Set that aside and get the steak on. Drop of fillet steak. Aldi specially selected. I think that means cheap and posh. Bit of steak seasoning on it. Bit more seasoning on the top. Quick check on the couscous. That looks done. Get it flipped over. Oh yes.
No niin. Kyys, kyys. Please don't drop. Please don't drop it on the floor. I know it could do a resting, but we ain't got time for that. I can rest on my plate. Look at that, Bob on. That is Bob on. I'm hoping I've not totally murdered the steak. Oh no, it's pink inside. A little bit anyway. Mmm. Delightful. Absolutely delightful. Give everything a little bit of a wipe. All my rubbish and pots are in there and I'll sort that out. When I get home, the light is going pretty quickly. Better get that all packed up and covered. Got most things in the backpack. A few bits that need to go inside the bivvy. It's only 10 past six, so it's gonna be a long night. Even a longer night if it starts raining. All right, so I've got my rucksack covered up there. Jet boils in this um, bin liner. My boots are gonna go in there as well. They're gonna come in the tent with me. I use the term tent quite loosely. I've not said what it's called yet. It's the Rab Ridge Raider. I've got my waterproofs in there ready for in the morning. Cozy. This is what it's like inside a bivvy tent. Very little room. <laughs> if you're claustrophobic, this isn't the shelter for you. At the moment I've just got the bug net fastened up. I'm going to zip up the outer and leave a little gap at the top for breathing. It's much warmer in here. I'm just going to chill out now. Um, maybe watch a film or something. And cross my fingers that it doesn't rain. Packed. Everything's put away. There's my flat grass patch. The bed was just perfectly flat. So I had a good sleep. Have I even got subtitles on? Got no phone. idea what Andy Wardle's saying. Cheapest spot, there's a discount code. So you can get them on Amazon. Where's he from? On the Super Sparrow website as well. Middlesbrough. Anyway, just waiting for Rob here. This stuff away nice, so if everything's neat. Just a top tip, put everything away neat so when you get back to the other side it just comes out nice, you know where everything is. To top tips right. with Andy Wardle, <laughs> go check it out. So I've had to go outside, you can't even pee in a bottle in this tent. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit foggy. I zip the outer door up so it's about four or five inches open. Hopefully the rain stays away. If not, I'll have to get that closed up sharpish. Um, we'll see what the morning brings. Fingers crossed, I'm dry. Need to leave a little bit of a gap. I need the earplugs.
We've still got about six hours until we get some daylight. So a bivvy <laughs> is not ideal for these rainy situations. I should be alright in here, although I've not tested the limits of this event material. The real fun begins when we've got to get out of here. Let's have a look at the weather radar. inside. Condensation fortunately. So glad it's not raining now. Having that door closed up meant a bit of condensation. Oh well. I found this on the web. And Siri's found it on the web. I found it on my sleeping bag. on me foot mat turn it over dry boots winner it's that bit of water on my jacket it's freezing though so it's going on. Bloody hell. That's done the job. Bit of a puddle at the bottom. Yeah, you can see just a bit of damp on there really which I'm happy with so the down inside that bag has been hydrophobically treated so um, repels most of the water anyway I don't reckon we're going to get that sunrise so the heavens have just started to spit a little bit I'm going to get my waterproofs on and then I'm going to show you how I quickly pack this away without getting my sleeping gear any wetter than it is. So I wouldn't normally sleep in this um, red jacket, but under the circumstances with it uh, raining, and I wasn't sure if I had to get out of the, the bivvy in a hurry. Um, I left it on last night. Um, it's not like really waterproof, it's more shower proof and it's quite breathable as well. I don't know whether to bother with the trousers. May as well, gives me an extra layer of warmth. A little slug. So there's just my sleep system left in the Bivy now. I'm just going to leave it all in and then roll it up as I want to get the pole out. Let's get rid of some of that excess water. Push that air out. Let's roll it up with everything in it. And we'll sort it all out when we get home. Obviously I'd have to do it differently you know, if I was camping for multiple nights. I'd be no good seeing a snake just shit myself for this worm. There's my tan lines. Breakfast of champions, and I'm all packed up. I'll leave you with a typical cloudy Peak District morning, and I'll see you in the next video.